everybody. Welcome to Celebrity Wine Review. I'm Desiree Anderson here with Mara, the export manager here at the... F How do you spell <laughs> You sound so much better when you say it. Ferrer... Ferrer y Catasus. Oh, she says it so much better than I do. Ferrer y Catasus. Okay. So we're in their shop here at the vineyard, where you can see all the bottles of wine behind us. And I'm going to actually taste this one here. How do you say this one? Sarrelo. There you go. <laughs> and this is a white wine? Wine. Yeah. A white wine. Okay. And it's a 2007. I'll pour some for you. I love that sound. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And for me, just a taste. Um, so tell me a little bit about this wine. Is this one of your most popular white wines? Well, one of the most popular wines, yeah. It's a high quality because it's a, it's a white uh, wine, but it's a very, very quality here. In the uh, United States, uh, they are not most popular because in uh, red wine, right. but here is a high quality. Now, can we find a bottle of this in the United States? Yeah. We can find this. Okay, yeah. so if you guys like, you can try this one. Let's see, let's see how it tastes. Yeah. Mm. And what kind of grape is this? Uh, well, you can see Charlo. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 100 percent. It's 100 percent. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's got a very nice aroma. Like it. Oh, yes, I do. I like it a lot. It's sweet without being mm -hmm. overpowering or too sweet, which I like. Yeah. I like it to be a little bit and sweet. Alone, uh, and the bo at the mouth mm -hmm. is very long. It's smooth, yeah. and uh, the aftertaste is very nice. It's not bitter. Very nice. Very nice white wine. Um, this is one of your other popular wines here. This yeah. is one of the most popular wines you have yeah. here. And uh, how do you say this? Prior de Fig. Prior de Fig. Okay. And what's special about this wine? Why is it so popular? Because it's, uh, the DOK is a priorat. DOK is? Uh, and it's uh, very important in Spain. Well, in Spain and around the world. Uh -huh. And you can also find this one in America yeah, as sure. well. Yeah. This is a 2006. And uh -huh. actually, it says, it says here it's 14.5% alcohol by volume, which is pretty high for being uh, a red wine, no? Yeah. Yeah, this one here is only 12.5. So I would go for this bottle, personally. <laughs> But uh, the white wine is very nice. So let's, um, let's move it along here. Oh, and you guys actually, they do olive oils here, which I'm very excited to try at lunch. High quality, high grade yeah, olive oil. Sure. You, do you grow the olives here on the vineyard? Olive oils, yeah. Wow. And you also have vineyards uh, not only here, but in other parts of Spain as uh -huh, well. Is that right? Uh -huh. Catalonia? Yep. And usually Andalucía uh -huh. and Castilla. And Castilla. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, hopefully we'll be able to try some of this at lunch. That would be nice. And uh, this is your other famous, the Merlot, Very the Camerlot. And this it's is high quality and high price. High quality, high price. Well, what, what's a, a high price here? How many well, euros? Uh, around five euros, no more. Yet. But it's a <laughs> That's a high price, five euros. <laughs> but it's a high quality, I like the price. Uh -huh. it's a, um, the relation between the quality and the price is the perfect wine. And what kind of, uh, is this a blend or is this 100% uh, mm -hmm. Merlot? Yep, uh, 13. 13? Yeah. And this is 13.5% uh, uh, alcohol by volume and it's a uh, 2004 reserve. So that would probably be a very nice wine to have with dinner. And this one here is your rosé, yeah? yeah? Your rosé cava. And is this one very popular, or do you find yes. that maybe the white cava is more popular than the rosé? Oh, no, no, it's very popular. It's another branch uh, about our winery. Mm -hmm. We have Ferrer Catasus wines and uh, Massoa branch. Mm -hmm. It's another branch, but it's, uh, the quality is so nice, too. Is this, um, is this very sweet, or is it uh, yeah, more it's bitter? Sweet. It's, sweet. it's sweet. Yeah, it looks sweet. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> And last but not least, I need a drum roll for this one because um, I had no idea, you guys, but they make the absente here. This is a, the absinthe for you guys back at home. I just had this for my first time a couple days ago. 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's very strong. Um, is it is it a very popular drink or is it more of a... No, no, it's very popular. It's very popular? No, no. Oh, no, it's not very, very popular. Not. Um, but a lot of Americans, we talk about it all the time because we say you see the green fairy, um, which, which um, I didn't get to that point the other night. But uh, very delicious, I'm sure, nonetheless. And you make this here also yeah. on the property. Uh -huh. This is 55% uh, alcohol volume, so very, very strong. Yeah. Yes, much more strong than the wine. You might have to take a bottle of this home. Is this uh, also sold in the United States? No. No, only sold here. Actually, no. But uh, at Porto, we will see. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to go upstairs and maybe try some of this olive oil. But you guys know where you can get this wine now. It's sold in the United States. So go ahead and try it. See you guys later.